Ready? So first step, you fetch the data. After you fetch the data, you can see your data is available or not based on here. Eh? You have three important tabs. First one is the data tab. The second one is the properties. And then the fourth, uh, the third one is the filter bar. Eh? So the data, uh, probably the most important part because you want to see what kind of data that you have. So you can insert the data from your ThingSpeak import data file. You can also insert the data from your question A. Yeah? Yang question A, you buat secara online, tanya orang kesihatan, blah, 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 and so on. Also, you can put that. And then you can uh, also put another file that you intentionally put from the uh, external sources. Eh? Macam you ada CSV file, kan? You buka CSV file tu dalam Google Sheet. That one also can be done. And then you have the properties over here. And then you have a filter bar. So usually, kita akan play with these two uh, important tab lah. Nama dia, data and also properties. Okay, tekan ni jelas eh. Okay, after you fetch the data, that is the primary method. The second one is to manage the data. Uh, dia sama macam app sheet kalau anda belajar sebelum ni. Kita manage data tu. Why? Because we want to teach the computer what is the data punya column tu. The let long is what. The image is what and so on and so forth. So, itu yang paling penting yang kedua. So, where you want to manage those, uh, those uh, information. You can go to the resources. You can go to the uh, manage added data sources. Manage and added data sources. This is one of the important part where you can delete your data. You can add your data. You can merge your data. You can mix your data together. Or you can do a lot of other customization. Eh? In this case, I'm going to go for edit and then I'm going to specify what is the uh, meaning with regard to my data. Example, eh? date time, I consider date time lah, betul tak? Okay, and then humidity is a number, betul? Uh, and then pressure is a date, so this is wrong. The pressure actually is the num number, so I'm going to specify it as number. So after doing that, then um, I can click done lah. And it's um, automatically safe for you. So why we use the dashboard like local data studio? Because it is working inside the cloud. So that means you can edit anywhere. You can uh, transfer the data anywhere and share it um, to anybody else uh, around the world. Eh? Okay, and then after that, you can click close. Okay, done. So we got the date. We got the humidity, pressure, temperature, UV. Okay, that is the second part. Manage your data, eh? Go to where? Resource, manage, added data sources. Okay? Understand? Understand or not? Okay. Now, I want to share with you some trick. One of the important tricks is how you want to extract the information with regard to your data collection that you continuously collect for a period of time. Betul tak? Anda collect data ni sangat banyak ni. 100, example lah. In my case, I already collected 153,693 data every minute. You divide by 60, you divide by another 60, you divide by another 60, uh, 24, you will get the approximation of how long the data is actually fetching uh, the databases from the open weather map. Whatever it is, I just want to share with you how you want to filter. Example, macam mana anda nak buat tarikh, bulan lagi, tahun lagi, jam, masa dan minit so that you can forensically identify what is the highest level of UV is being recorded inside your databases. So same also what is the highest level of the pollutants being recorded inside your IoT device. Faham tak apa yang kita nak buat ni? Therefore, to do that kita perlu buat extraction. Apa dia? So this is the third part. We want to create a variable or we call it as a field. Ni bawah ni at a field. Okay. So, this is what is going on. Yang step ketiga eh. You click at a field and then you go for add calculated field. So, inside the calculated field, I share with you one important idea named as month. Contoh, saya nak create satu variable namanya month. Month ni apa? Bulan. So, I'm going to do this kind of algorithm. So, you can put extract. Okay, extract apa? Extract month. M-O-N-T-H. Month. Comma. Uh, extract month. 
uh, comma and then you akan masukkan you punya variable name as day time. Okay, jadi tak? Kalau dia keluar syntax error. Syntax error means that I forgot already lah kan macam nak buat. Hmm. Teman-teman, sorry for that. Uh, first of all, I want to create month. Betul tak? Okay. So, uh, how to do that based on the previous idea? Kita kena buat ayat ni kan. Month from uh, day ni lah. Kita punya nama variable. So, what is the variable? The name of your variable is the date time lah. So, this is how you want to extract the month from here. Then you can get the formula syntax is valid. Okay, understand? And then if I click save, then a new variable are going to be formed. Ataupun satu variable baru akan wujud. Namanya M-O-N-T-H, month. Nampak ni? That is the first trick. You create numbers of um, information to control the data. This is to control the data of the month. Faham tak? So, kalau saya masukkan month ni, you will see how many months. Of course lah, you will see at most is 12 months lah kan? Betul tak? Maksudnya akan ada 12 bulan. Okay, kat sini kalau anda tengok kenapa month dia boleh jadi 437. How can it become like that? It's because it's it's being sum lah. Sum maksudnya apa? Jum? Jum lah. Uh, so let's say I want to see the minimum. Of course lah, the minimum is the bulan 1. The maximum is the bulan Ah, bulan 12. Faham dai. Betul. This is the idea and the example of how you want to use the month ni tadi. Jelas? Okay. And then we create another one. Go to the add field. And then you create what we call it as a day. Day apa? Hari. That is correct. How to do that? Extract. Extract what? Extract day from. From apa? Date time. So you can just choose this variable name. And then make sure that it's become valid. And after it's valid, press save. Then the data is going to be save it for you. Okay, so far so good? Okay, why we create day and month? Later on, I, I am going to share with you the idea of using the day and month for filtering the data. Faham tak? Filtering the data. The trick is you want to filter the data so that the data is going to share is going to show only relevant information with regard to our uh, specific needs. Kita nak tarikh bila, pukul berapa sampai pukul berapa. Faham tak? Okay, so we can customize our um, um, map ataupun range kita. Ya, yeah, betul. Ah, uh, Nanti kita boleh adjust. Uh, sebab saya dah bagi tahu. Ini adalah the only way that we can customize it according to our need. Extract years. Years maksudnya tahun lah. I can't remember whether this data is actually a continuous data collected from the previous years or not. Because it is running quite sometimes. Yeah. It is actually running from the previous years. Which is uh, tahun pun <coughs> adalah yang lama. So let us complete everything. Which is we include the years. And then we include also the uh, apa nama ni uh, day and uh, sorry day and month is the, uh, there already uh, apa nama ni hours hours and minutes eh? uh, hours jam lah betul ok I'm going to extract another one which is year let me extract the year and then year from and then you insert the date and time and then close the bracket uh, and then it become something like this make sure it's valid ok boleh eh Okay, I do believe that majority of you want to try it. You nak try it eh? Nak 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 try ke? If you want to try it, then I share with you the URL. I share with you the URL now. So that all of you can have the benefit uh, to use the link. Cara dia, ladies and gentlemen, you can just copy, uh, go to the manage added data resources ni. You letak added data sources. You go to the Google Sheet and then you tampal URL ni. Boleh? Okay, saya sharekan URL ni sekarang. Macam mana saya nak share? Farisha, email awak apa? Hmm. The resource. You can go to the manage added data sources. And then you can go to the add a data source. And then add a data source, you can choose for the Google Sheets. From the Google Sheets, you can go for the URL. Okay, you click the URL and then you paste the URL given by your friend. Inside here. Pada? Tak masuk lagi. Uh, okay, never mind. Wait eh. Lepas tu month, lepas tu year. And then we can also create another field. Uh, hours. Betul. 
Ours adalah kita punya jump and then you are going to do the same function extract hours extract hours from date time. Okay, date time ni is the variable lah kan. Uh, variable yang kita ada ni. And then close the bracket. Make sure it's valid and then click save. And then another one is the minutes. Okay, minutes. So we can go for the add a fields, add a calculated fields and then you can name it as minute. Okay, how to do that? Extract, same function, type minute, M-I-N-U-T-E, followed by the word from, followed by your name of the variable, which is the date, time. And then, don't forget to wait until it's valid and click save. Okay, after this, what I'm going to share with you is we are going to create, uh, ni adalah step yang ketiga. Let us recap. Step pertama, fetch the data. Step kedua, setting up the data. Step ketiga, Step ketiga apa? Oh, step ketiga adalah create variables. The variables that we create is meant for filtering the data after this. Remember eh? Filtering the data. Why I meant by that? Contohnya kejap lagi saya akan buat satu slider. So the slider uh, consists of something that we want to filter the data from this date until this date. Faham tak? Okay. Uh, so time frame lah for a specific time frame. And then we go to the step number four. The step number four is very simple. You need to recognize and understand and also know what kind of visualizations that you want to uh, project it. Okay, you can go into all this area. Eh? The first one is undo. The next one is zoom, add a page, add a data. You can click this one to add a data. It's either from the BigQuery upload or uh, another Google Sheet. You can go for the add a chart. Add a chart ni lah yang paling utama ya untuk tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to know how to use the data is for what. Sometimes the data need to be presented in table, in graph, in time series, in scoreboard, in bar chart and so on. It's going to be represented here. And then we have the um, add a control. Control and also a chart is two important item in our dashboard creation. Faham tak? Ini yang saya kata nombor empat. Nombor empat apa? Visualization. Visualization is actually inside a chart. And then nombor lima is a control. Apa dia? Control. Okay. So let me give you an idea how you can visualize one parameter. Namely as what? Apa parameter yang awak nak saya tunjukkan kepada saudara-saudara sekalian? Anda nak tengok apa? Temperature. Temperature. Okay. That is one suggestion. I'm going to share with you the idea of how the temperature behave according to the data that we collect for past numbers of months. Eh? So the first way to do that is go to the add a chart followed by this time series and also you have the line chart. I'm going to use the line chart at this moment. So let me just use the line chart. After you click the line chart, then you can see it's actually ready for me to drag and drop it. Uh, anywhere in the blank canvas. So, I can drag and drop it anywhere here. Make sure that it is composed enough uh, in a big uh, white blanket in my workspaces over there. And then, it's going to be fetching the data and tabulated it accordingly. Okay. Uh, this is the example. So, you can see record count, month, and some of it seems like not very, not very intelligent to be presented like this. Correct or not? Sebab dia hanya tunjuk data yang macam you tak faham. Never mind. That's why we are going to learn how to manage this data in much more pleasant kind of uh, display. Eh? Kita nak tengok dia lebih cantik lagi. Cara dia macam mana? First of all, you see here, we got the data dimension. Correct or not? We also can see here that we have the date range dimension. So, actually, the dimension here can be changed accordingly. Contoh, I want to share the idea of this data based on the day. So, I can put the day over there. Then, we will have this day lah. So, that mean this is day number one, day number two, day number three and day number four. Maksudnya, ada tiga hari day eh. This is dimension the day. Betul tak day? Ha, day. Okay. This is the day. Okay. Uh, and then, we also can change other things lah. So, that ikut lah kepada tuan-tuan dan perempuan punya data. So, let me... Uh, Use the hours. So, kalau hours, dia akan ada kosong sampai. Sampai apa? 
Sebab saya start mula benda ni bulan 12 tahun lepas. So that's why dia ada 4 bulan lah kan. Lebih kurang bulan 1, bulan 2, bulan 3, bulan 12. Betul tak? That's why tadi saya letak. Tadi D kan? Sepatutnya saya namakan dia bukan D tau. Saya kena namakan dia adalah month. Betul tak? Ha, never mind. Maybe I wrongly address it. So uh, kita gunakan hours. So let's say this one is hours. Hours is of course lah. From 0 until 24. Betul tak? Betul? Betul? Hour 0 until 24. Okay. Date range and dimension. I just maintain it like that. Okay. For matrices. Eh? For matrices. Let me change this one. I want to change the metric into my data. Which is temperature. I want to show the temperature. And then the temperature is actually. I want to show the maximum temperature. According to the each of the day. So this is the idea. And then I can sort. I can sort not by temperature. But I can sort by hours. That means. From 12 tengah hari uh, Sampailah pukul 12 tengah hari berikutnya Faham tak? Uh, I can also put ascending lah Daripada pukul 12 tengah malam Sampailah pukul 11 malam So you can see this is the trend of our temperature uh, Beginning from the 12 tengah malam Until 11 malam Faham ke tak? So that you can get benefit out of it eh? So first of all Anda akan You are going to insert the table So, in this case, go to the add a chart. This is process number four. Add a chart and then followed by the line chart. And then draw a very simple line chart over there. Never mind, don't bother about whatever designs that already been suggested by local. We are going to adjust it by ourselves. In this example, I'm going to share with you how you can represent the holistic data since December 2023 until today with regard to the... Um, Daily, daily or hourly recorded temperature. Eh? So first time, you need to go to the dimension and select for hours. Okay, if you go for hours, you can see something like this. It is as default uh, finding the record count. Okay, change this record count under the matrix. Under the matrix, you can follow it through into your specific parameters. Name as temperature. You can select the temperature and then change the Uh, aggregations that you want to show In this case, I'm going to put the Minimum, maximum and average So after I put something like this It's become like what you see In front of your the screen lah So I'm going to name it as Temperature AVG Apa makna dia? Temperature AVG Temperature average And then I can add another matrices eh? Another matrices I also can request it What is it? I'm going to require the same thing but the aggregation is different where I'm going to also explore the temperature minimum. Okay. And then I can also add another line where I can also request the temperature to be displayed but I want to uh, show the maximum temperature. So that is the example of how you want to tabulate your data. Okay, done eh? So boleh nampak tak dekat sini daripada pukul 10 ni sampailah pukul berapa ni dia kosong which is tak ada apa pun kat sini because we not arrange in uh, arranging it nicely eh. So after you finish up then you find out that all these things is actually hours betul tak? Dia adalah jam. Jadi kita perlu susun jam ni supaya ianya bermakna. We need to arrange the hours so that the hours might be very useful for us to interpret the data accordingly. So you can change that one under the sort function. You can go to the sort, for, um, choose the hours, and then inside the hours you can choose the ascending. Means that it will start at 12, um, apa nama midnight until 11:59, uh, almost the another midnight of the, the next day. Eh. So anda boleh nampak kat sini ini pukul 1 pagi, ini pukul berapa? 8 pagi. This is actually 1 p.m. This is actually the peak one, about 3 p.m. So all this thing is being recorded hourly based on the data from December until April. Sorry, December until March 2024. It's about 4 months overall. Eh? overall. And then you can also put another uh, composite or another data to remove the unnecessarily data here, namely as null. So that means you can also ask the computer not showing any null uh, information lah. Okay, itu adalah untuk advance lah sebenarnya. But I'm going to skip uh, at this moment so that at least you get the idea lah. 
So after you finish up uh, doing all this, this is the very basic example. Now, how you want to utilize the another functions name as slider? Apa dah? Slider. Uh, slider ni dekat sebelah kanan. Namanya add a con, add a control. You can click add a control and then you can choose the date range control. Please do that and then you can select somewhere on the top right, uh, upper corner over there. So inside this select date range, it will help you to select the uh, the specific date that you want to investigate and also understand the temperature within that particular day. Contoh eh, I give you one example. After you doing so, then we complete the five basic steps with regard to the use of local data studio. First, fetch the data. Second, setting up the unit and so on. The third one, create the um, field or parameters. The fourth, create visualization. Fifth, add a control. And then six others. Others ni nanti lain-lain kemudian lah. Kalau tak sempat, kita cover on the other particular days. So, when you put everything, what you can do next is basically go to the view. You can click the view so that it will visualize something like this. So, you can go to the select date range. I took one example eh. Let's say, I want to understand what happened yesterday. Yesterday is what, uh, what is the date of the yesterday? 19 eh. 19, 19, 20. Then I can click apply. So, you will be surprised that we got uh, some data but the data might not be completed lah. Kenapa tak completed? Sebab hari ni 20 hari bulan tak sampai lagi pukul 11 malam, betul tak? Uh, so, that kind of things you must also understand lah. What is the data going to be shown here? So, you can see you can have some error with regard to the uh, filter, betul tak? Tiba-tiba anda rasa ada error. Alamak, ada error lah. So, why this thing happen is because the data is too huge and it is very difficult for you to to capture the details. So, to avoid this kind of uh, dissatisfaction, that's why I develop and share with you one idea which is we call it as filter. So, anda boleh gunakan kaedah filter berikut eh. Okay. Uh, have a look on this eh. Boleh tengok kat sini. Date range dimension ni, you can change it or you can also remove it. Anda boleh buang dia. But you can also put the another add control name as slider. Okay. You can go for the slider over here. Mana slider? Okay, slider. The slider ni, you can uh, draw a slider and then that slider, actually you can use to control something. Okay, you can see over here, nampak tak? Dia akan control based on the field. Okay, you can also uh, make another slider. Contohnya, anda nak buat slider yang seterusnya adalah berdasarkan day. Okay, let's say this one to be day and then another one to be the month. Okay, day, month, lepas tu hour and a minute mungkin tak perlulah. So, the another one will be the day, month. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste another one. Okay. Uh, ini tadi apa saya cakap? Day, month, uh, hour lah kan. Okay, day, month, hour. So, I already have the filter. So, if you can see the filter here, okay, nampak tak? Filter ni nampak ada sedikit kelakar. Sebab apa dia kelakar? Siapa tahu? Ha, sebab ini pukul 12.30 malam. Data yang mana? Data yang kita pun tak tahulah kat mana because we select the specific date range yang berkenaan eh. Ha, so, kita kena adjust lah accordingly. Okay, so let us adjust. So, contoh dekat day ni, kita tahu kita ada day 1 until day uh, 31. Okay, month ni pula kita ada bulan... Satu, bulan dua, bulan tiga, bulan dua belas. Kita ada empat jenis bulan. Okay, the month. And then our, we will have approximately, okay, you can remove this one. Please remove all the date and time dimension. Uh, anda kena remove ni. Date and time dimension ni anda remove. Uh, when you remove everything, then the data are start to be appearing. Much more appealing eh. So, saya tunjukkan lagi sekali. Control date. Okay. Uh, Okay, hours. <coughs> okay, so kat sini, we are going to change this one. So, you can put the data dimension based on date time. <coughs> and then it will be represented something like this. Eh? 
Okey, dia keluar tak datang kamu? Ke tak keluar? Keluar tak macam saya ni? Ke tak comel? Jatlah kita buat satu-satu lah kan. Okey, let me just redo it back. I just remove everything first. Okey. Ha, ni pun saya remove dulu. Saya ambil satu slider yang paling basic. Okay, this is the basic slider. Okay, select date range. Okay, this one uh, have the data date range. Okay, the dimension is hours. So, the day. Uh, the day here, I'm going to change it as hours lah. Kepada jam eh. So, kalau anda tengok. Uh, jam ni, dia akan ada daripada kosong sampai 23. Logik ke tak logik? Logik lah kan. Sebab dia ada apa tu? Dia ada 20, 24 jam lah kan satu hari. Okay. So, mari kita tekan view eh. Let us go for the view. So, example, if I want to know what is the time, what is the temperature between 8 until 5 o'clock. Ini contoh. Saya nak tengok uh, berapakah temperature pada pukul 8 pagi sampai pukul 5 petang. Ini waktu bekerja kan, betul? So, I can just filter using a slider. That is the functions of the slider eh. Okay, and then I can also select the date. Uh, particularly um, for a specific uh, date. Contohnya 19 lah, 19. This is uh, yesterday. Yesterday data. Correct or not? Data semalam kan? Uh, kalau ada, dia akan tunjuk lah. Kalau tak ada, dia akan tunjuk kosong lah. Why dia tunjuk kosong? Saya pun tak pasti. You can find out. Maybe the data is incomplete or ada error lah. Sometimes memang ada error pun. Okay. So, itu adalah contoh how you want to visualize the data. You put the graphic and then you put the uh, control for that graphic eh. Okay, contoh saya ambil daripada 1 March, let's say, until 19 March. And then I apply. Okay, this is the example. Uh, based on the 8 o'clock until uh, 5 p.m. So, this is the trend. Okay. So, what happening, uh, what will be happen inside your um, dashboard bila you buat nanti pada you punya um, MSA, you are going to repeat the same process. You akan buat benda-benda ni. Okay. Cuma anda akan asing-asingkan dia according to a different-different uh, composite. Eh? I give you an example. Eh? Ini yang saya dah develop just to give you uh, an example so that you can appreciate the use of it. So, contoh eh. I create a line chart and then this line chart is actually consist of uh, following details. Okay, ni contoh saya letak line chart. Okay. Under the setup, you can see I put the date. The date is of course lah, the date and time. I put the hours over there and then I put the uh, matrices similarly like your matrices and then I make a sorting. Betul tak? Ni sama kan macam yang saya buat untuk kamu. Betul tak? Okay, yang saya tunjuk tadi, sama je. So, same also goes to the relative humidity. Cuma kalau tuan-tuan puan perasan, nampak tak yang ini adalah temperature in degree for every hours. Betul? Yang ini adalah relative humidity in every minutes. Dia bukan hours lah. Minutes. Nampak? Ini hours, ini minutes. Kenapa saya buat hours minutes? Saya tak buat uh, minute-minute. Sekati saya lah. Uh, untuk menampakkan bahawa how granular the data is it. Eh, maksudnya data tu memang daripada minit, jam dan even saat pun kita boleh ukur lah. Ha, ini dahsyat sikit lah. And then we can also focus on the thermal comfort. Maknanya mula-mula saya cerita hours. Lepas tu saya cerita minit. Lepas tu saya cerita minit dan hours. Bukan minit dan hours. Saya cerita saat pula. But for the saat ni, saya gabungkan kedua-dua data. Temperature dan humidity. Nampak tak? That is how we want to... Uh, extrapolate the data so that is much more much more easier for you to interpret eh? and then if I choose the slider you can see how the slider is being set the slider is being set as follows you akan letakkan date and then you akan masukkan control field yang berkenaan lah. so this is the example so what will happen is basically if you filter the data if you visualize the uh, dashboard here yang saya punya contoh ni anda boleh filter lah sama yang macam saya tunjuk tadi Daripada pukul 8 pagi sampai pukul berapa? Sampai pukul 5 kan? Ha, ni. This is the example of 8 to 5. 8 ke 5 petang. So, when you filter 8 ke 5 petang, automatically on our side, dia akan filter 8 ke 5 petang. So, kalau you letak minit ni kosong sampai 59, it will share with you also the minutes of 0 until 59. Maknanya, minit yang pertama sampai minit ke 59. Same also with the minute of the 0. 
Uh, whatever it is, it's reflect with our control. Itu dia punya fungsi eh. And then you can also see over here, we got the, apa ni? Date range control eh. This one is the date range control. So inilah yang tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sedang sedang akan buat. Saya tak rasa pun anda akan buat uh, kurang lagi cantik daripada saya. Of course you akan buat at least macam ni atau lebih cantik lah. Itu maksudnya. Faham tak? Uh, so remember of these five important step. The first one is the data. The second one is the setting up the variable. The third one is um, make some fill. Yang the fourth one add a chart. Lepas tu add a control. Lepas tu apa lagi? Uh, others lah. Yang nombor 6 others. Okay, ini contoh eh. If you also want to include the data in the tabular format, you can also insert the data like this. You can uh, put the table. Uh, ni table. Contohnya anda boleh tahu temperature ni, temperature pada pukul berapa yang tinggi and also yang paling rendah. You can uh, also change the chart according to the uh, heat map. Uh, apa nama ni? Heat map chart. Eh, sebab dia akan ikut gambar color lah kan Macam ni kan pukul berapa, pukul berapa ni You can change accordingly You boleh adakan perkara-perkara uh, lain uh, Saya akan cerita tambahan dia kemudian Dalam add control seperti button uh, Preset field dan juga perhaps mungkin checkbox And ada function lah Namely as uh, Apa nama ni? Map dan lain-lain Yang ni semua saya saya bincangkan kemudian eh. Ni saya cerita yang basic je dulu kepada saudara-saudari semua. Okey, nampak dah local studio ni? Memang nampak macam agak pening lah untuk anda sintesis pada satu masa yang agak singkat. Waktu petang pula tu dengan keadaan nak berbuka puasa dah ni. So, mustahil.